Okay, so once uh, you've downloaded the software, let's just open it and you get this window here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings and go through the settings. So it's got a screenshot facility as well. So you can screenshot uh, anywhere on your screen as you go on. So you get two apps, one for uh, just screenshot in any parts if you want images or anything. Uh, I just set it up as JPEGs and so on. Uh, the rest of the information here, I usually just leave as it is. You don't really need to change anything here. You can just set up your webcam if you've got it plugged in. Where you want to save to, so I just save it to desktop so I'm not looking for it forever. Uh, the video format, uh, so I've got it set, I'll have it set to MP4, H264. It's default to MPEG-4. Uh, not a lot of difference. I just find that H.264 compresses it a bit better so you get a lower uh, file size. And I leave the video quality on high, but if you want a lower quality, you can do it as, as well. You can disable the screensaver so it don't come on while you're recording. It shows a countdown, so it gives you a 3, 2, 1 before you start recording so you know uh, when it's going to start you can hide your desktop icon icon so if you're anything like me i have this on because i've got a desktop icons everywhere in folders so i'm dead a bit messy like that so just this will hide it for you it all, also if you use hotkeys so these are like shortcuts so if you pause it and stuff it will highlight in the corners for you what shortcuts you're using so the people know what shortcuts and hotkeys you're using which i'll go through when i get to it it highlights the mouse movements and the click and the recorded movements. So I always have that on as well. And if you want here, you can come to here and you can add your own watermark. So if it's a college logo, you can add it and you can decide where you want it to have. Uh, and the opacity, if you want it to be fully on 100% or if you want it to be faded out a bit. I think you need to make this around 300 to 300 pixels so it's not too big. It'll fit nicely in the corner. Uh, and again, that's up to you if you want to do that. Again, with audio, matter of making sure it's working and stuff. Uh, well, currently, I'm using uh, a headset, but if you've got a laptop built in one, it will pick it up. You just have to set it up here, tell it which input and output for your audio device and stuff you're using, uh, and you should be ready to go. I have them both on 100, so it's just really clear. And again, hotkeys, these are the shortcuts you can use. So if you want to stop or if you want to screenshot, or copy, or cancel. So if you turn this on in your settings... Uh, as I mentioned before, it will show up when you're actually recording so the, so the user can know what you're using. And when you're happy, you just click uh, Save Settings. So up in the top here, you've got Capture Video. So you can capture, uh, you probably can't see, I've got two screens. And what it does, it highlights the screen you want to record. So I've, if you want to just record a whole screen, so if you've got two screens or your laptop's plugged into a screen, you might want to choose your screen the main screen to record and your laptop could use to hold all the information you're going to pull onto it you can have a custom area which means you can click and you can drag over a certain area if you wish and so on the last area use auto detector area you've got different tasks and you've got different uh, resolutions for your mouse if you're an online gamer you can set this up to record your gaming uh, screenshots as well for uh, when you when you record if you want to just get imagery or certain parts you want to screenshot something to send somebody and then this if you're doing just audio recordings you can record just your voice talking if you want so i mean i've zipped through that really quickly but it's not that hard at all it's uh, this is one thing i like about the ice cream recorder it's easy to use easy to pick up and when it, when you finish recording it automatically straight away puts the recording on your desktop so you don't have to export it or mess about or anything like that so that's the basic interface so let's have a go at recording some footage <laughs> 